Hey guys, it's Nufi from Nufi Loves Luxury. I just wanted to do another video today. You might have seen my other one and I'm wearing the same outfit. Sorry, Sunday. I just wanted to talk really quickly today about another video that uh, is not luxury. But anyway, I want to start with saying thank you if you have joined me again. I really appreciate it. Hang in there with me. I'm sh I promise you I will be buying some more uh, things to unbox soon. But um, if you're new to my channel, I am just a really simple person from Aussie, from Australia, and I just like luxury items. I like makeup and beauty products, and I like alternative bags too. I like anything that I consider luxury. So if you like that, please feel free to subscribe and help me grow my baby channel. Um, so today, guys, I just want to talk about alternative handbags. So you, please go and watch my other videos. You know I have a lot. A lot more than I realized. Um, Louis Vuitton, Prada, um, Coach, just some other products um, and I just really like luxury. But today I wanted to talk about some bags that I have that are not called those not, well they're luxury to me, but they're not luxury, they're not brand houses, Louis Vuitton, Chanel etc. So the first one I want to talk about is because it's nearly football season here in Australia. For us football is Australian Football League. So I barrack for Collingwood, which is our, our name is Magpies. And they're black and white, they're colours, and obviously the Magpie is our emblem. So I have a bucket bag that is the Magpies, and that there is our football emblem. And yeah, it is leather. I don't believe it's leather. Yeah, um, it's got the, the guitar strap. It's got the two handles. It's got the... Uh, closure for the bucket but of course you can you know, open that and uh, this is the strap and uh, it's a great bag it's got everything in one it's like the Louis Vuitton Neo in our way but uh, it's got little feet and what a cool looking bag and of course for me I love I love my Collingwood yes so I just thought what a great alternative bag and I absolutely will be using this in football season which is about to start here in Australia so that's my first one my second one I wanted to talk about was this and so it is patent leather and yes it is leather it's from a uh, serenade they're a Beverly Hills collection handbag so they are on the cheaper side so they're about a hundred Australian dollars um, this one's the patent leather it's got parts shiny and part uh, I know it looks shiny, but I would call that matte. Um, I love this bag. I just like the look of it. I like that it's got the gold hardware. I like that these straps here, they're so, they're so large, like really large. You know, you've got no problem getting your arm in. Um, it's got the double zip, but of course I, the zip's so buttery. It really is. Oh, there's a Louis Vuitton bag in here. Um, you never know what you might find in my handbags. Um, I'll just show you, I've got, black in there that oh it's not black in there sorry it's like a burgundy let me see if I can get closer burgundy don't know what that material is but um I love this bag oh I don't use it very often probably because I do reach for the Louis bags but this is certainly not something I would sell because I think it's adorable and it's great especially if you're going somewhere that you don't want to show that you've got a luxury bag I know it sounds funny but it's super cute holds a lot um, the only thing about this bag, it doesn't have a shoulder strap, so it's only top handle. Um, but I think it's a great alternative bag. Serenade, they make lots of bags. Another little bag that's an alternative is this little chestnut. It's got a no-name brand. It's a little going out at night, obviously. It fits my phone. It's got the little soft lining, the clasp, and the big... Yeah, so adorable I think it's just it's just so pretty I do tend to go for my Prada all the time but I love that little bag another another idea for alternative bags is this is one that my mum got for me actually and she had it made um, so it's not a brand but what it does have is photos so here's a photo of my dog Milo and here's a photo of me and my brother Joseph so um, I have lost my brother, unfortunately, my brother passed away. But this was at my 40th with him and mum had this made. 
So the loves of my life, my dogs and my brother. Look, I don't use this, to be honest with you. It's quite big, but it's gorgeous. It's got little card holders. It's the double zip um, inside. I, you know, you can fit your... Um, you could just use this as a as a bag because you can fit your purse and every uh, your phone and everything. It's great for like say if you're going to Bali and you just you know strap this on your wrist and off you go. Um, and you get a lot of questions. I get a lot of comments around. Oh look at that! I mean it's awesome, right? That's one alternative. So another alternative is when I was travelling in. Italy and Florence is known for its leather yeah I, I don't know if you know that and I got this fantastic look at the beautiful detail in the leather it's got the zip with the really long pocket it's got a zip on the back and inside it's light colored which I love if you can see that um, it basically just says leather something in Italian but made in Italy um, in Florence and it's got the fleur de lis um, and the strap is adjustable it's leather it's it's just a great little bag um, that's back the front but uh, yeah great alternative little bag also great for traveling it's super light it fits a lot it's deep and these pockets on the outside are just fabulous and they're zips everything it's such good quality so there's another alternative to um, two handbags, and I have one more. And this one is um, a lot heavier, but it's an alternative to a Louis, I would say. It is Oriton. Oriton make, in my opinion, especially this one, this era, the fantastic, beautiful quality leather. This has got the strap, I mean, this has got things in it at the moment. It's got, oh yes, I'll show you that. Um, I'm embarrassed to show you inside because I use this bag so much. It's it's super dirty, but I'm going to show you anyway. Sorry that it's so dirty. Um, I don't know if you can see, I've got things in there. But uh, it's just really big, really soft, really great leather. Um, it's got that slouchy look that a lot of people like. Um, it's just fabulous. Just, yeah, really great classy bag, I think it is. This is, wasn't cheap, but it's probably more in line with Coach, but I think this leather is as good as um, Louis Vuitton or Chanel, if not better. Um, I know that's a big call, but it just is so well made. This is a very old bag that I've had and it's amazing quality. This leather is super soft. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, don't know what else to say. On that, I've just realized, here's one of my very first, more expensive, the $20 at Kmart type of bag. Again, it's Oriton. It was worn to death, hence you'll see scratches um, on the other side. And again, you can see that slouchy look. I don't have anything in this, I don't believe. Let me see. Oh my gosh, I do. Okay. Um, again, it's got all glitter in it. I've probably wore it out. Yeah. But it's got the light interior, which I really like. Even after all it, this bag has to be 20 years old, honestly. Um, it was one of my favourite bags. Just love the Oriton look. I don't know. Oriton. What do you guys think of Oriton? Do you know Oriton? So I'm trying to get that to focus. Got a lot of scratches because I've used it. But mate, this is, look, it's super cool. I love it to death. I've just opened that, so I'm gonna show you this. This is something I've never used. I might even, one day, if I ever get to 500 or 1,000 subscribers, please help me. Um, I might give this as a giveaway. It's literally brand new. Um, but it's called Anushka. So I don't know if people, here we have like TVSN, um, and it's, it's a hand painted, let me show you in its box, because I've <laughs> I bought it. Oh, the leather smells great. It's hand painted. Um, it's still got its tags on it. Like it's the Jungle Queen. And look at it. I mean, it's stunning, right? I really don't know why I don't use it. I think I just, because I have Louis pieces, I just haven't 
used it. It's got, you know, these um, inside. I just have it stuffed in its original so it's not getting scratched. It's brand, brand new and perfect. Just perfect. I can't remember what I paid for this. I, I really actually can't remember. I think I paid about 300 I don't know, maybe more. Anyway, I can't remember. But it's um, it's absolutely stunning. So one day, remind me, people, remind me. Um, it's just beautiful, just beautiful. So guys, that is, I'm just going to show you this one again, me and my brother. Um, that is an example of some bags that are all over the place with prices. I mean, you know, you're going from sort of like $100. I mean, there might have been two or 300 but I got it on sale. Um, to the Collingwood bag that I think was only about a hundred dollars had it you know made um, the Florence I think that was maybe a couple hundred dollars I can't even remember so yeah the Oriton I think was about um, I think that was about five hundred dollars but still in, in regards to like coach um, honestly I bought this one <laughs> you're not gonna believe it I did buy it pre-loved at the time, but it was new and I bought it for $20 and I used it and used it and used it and used it and I can't tell you how much I've used it. I would still use this. It's just, I just love this bag. Look at it. It's great. I do have another red um, uh, Oroton as well. It's pretty old, but I use that as well. So guys, I'm interested in what are your bags that are alternatives, that are still great bags, great quality, you use them for different reasons. Like, what do you have? What do you, you know, did you like this video? Would you like me to do some more on those sort of topics? Um, you know, you can see my little red one here from somebody told me to how to say shine was she in? She in? Oh. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today. Hopefully I will do another video for next week and uh, hopefully I'll buy some makeup soon too for those that might be interested in that. Anyway, thanks for sticking with me. Please subscribe and help me grow. And I will see you next time. Bye.